Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzle for it, and welcome back to Grounded, where we are in the uh, the tree laboratory uh, and picking up missions. Uh, we have 880 science, which is not much, but we have 880 science because I bought um, the uh, the relevance upgrade that allows us to have um, floors uh, because I wanted floors. What's this? Burgle quest. Okay, let's do that. Uh, grave robbery. Find the grave robbery burgle chip. Hmm. Well, I'm going to accept that quest. Uh, hunter. Water boatsman. Kill three water boatsmen. Oh, no, four water boatsmen. Oh, it only just gives us 60 science, but you know, every little bit of science helps, so we'll get that. Uh, acorn chest plate. Interesting. Make the acorn chest plate, by the looks of it. Alright, we'll do that. So we do have the uh, capacity to make the acorn chest plate. I realise that there's a bit of um, science over here. So I'm going to grab that and see how much it gives us. If it gives us enough to get... No, it doesn't. It's only 980 or something science now. I could go down there and explore, but that is the, um, that is the ant hive type place. Uh, and I don't feel ready to explore the ant hive because I feel like the uh, the soldier ants will just murder me. Uh, I'm not ready for that. So we're going to go outside um, in the uh, the tree area. I'm going to grab these because why not? It's better than having them just shining over there, isn't it? To have them in my inventory. Nice. Though I don't really need them. Uh, yeah. I don't really need them. What is it, Max? Done? Thank you. Um, because uh, I have been building since the last episode. Ooh, is it night time? It looks like night time, doesn't it? That means it could be slightly too excessively dangerous around the garden. We'll just have to see. Uh, I've been busy building, and I've been busy building just quite close by. Uh, I did set up a little camp next to the juice box over here. Usually I'd be grabbing things as I go here, because obviously we need as much as we can. Oh dear. Run away, run away, run away. Yes. Can he get into the water? I don't think he can. Ooh, -hoo. that was incredibly dangerous. <laughs> I do dislike the wolf spider. Just so you know, if you don't know already, because a lot of people who watch this already will know that I don't like the wolf spider. But anybody who hasn't watched me play this before, it's, yeah, the wolf spider. Ugh, wolf spider. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, last time I stuck my base right here. And it was a big mistake having my base right here. Obviously, my base was quite nice. And I think I did well with my base, but... Over here was a terrible idea for a base. I did stick my base over here, which is just as bad an idea for a base. Uh, but uh, it's... Uh, we'll, we'll move that. All right, you can come with me. Uh, it, the, the actual base now is somewhere else. Oh, heck. He's still there. Why do you have to be here, horrible spider? Go away. Let's go this way. Let's see if we can ignore him. I hope so, because at the moment he's being a right pain. Okay, there's two ways into my base. There's this this way, which is to say up this uh, this this one branch and into the base. Or there's the other way, which is more fun. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. In the meanwhile, we'll just get this to turn around and park it there. There we go. Having them all next to the uh, the um, workbench means that we have a much easier time of getting the workbench used for whatever. Uh, let's see if we can make the chest plate as we were told to. No, we need more clover leaves. So if we can get some clover leaves, then we can get that chest plate set up. And getting the chest plate set up would be awesome. So why did I choose this area? I chose this area because we can overlook the, the wolf spider and what it's up to. We know what it's up to all the time. And we can, we can walk around in safe areas uh, that the wolf spider can't get to. Uh, it might be able to get up to that base if it goes down the other the other way, but uh, it's we'll, we'll have to block that off so that it can't. <laughs> because I don't really want the wolf spider up here. Uh, it will be incredibly annoying. All right, let's grab some of those uh, things, and then we can have the uh, the chest plate. Where are you, wolf spider? 
I hear you. Maybe we should make it day. But if I make it day, I'm going to run out of water. Hmm. All right, we're, we're gonna we're gonna we're going to have to see what happens. We're gonna probably end up with no water, and that's gonna be really bad. Let's make it day. I can't be bothered to wait through uh, him mucking us around. Unfortunately, it seems to always take us eight hours, so we'll, we've lost a little bit of morning, which is a bit of a shame. Okay, it looks far more welcoming uh, in the base at the daytime. I mean, I do have torches around here somewhere, but uh, I don't have enough torches around here because obviously I didn't do that yet. There you are. I see you now, trapped in amongst all of those. As long as he's trapped in amongst all of those, he'll be out of our way, which is fine. I'm going to continuously grab all of these. I'm so glad I set these up immediately, because uh, it's so helpful. Now, we did set them up on the other side, but I just moved them around here so that I could use them um, anyway. So, they're all set. They're all working, uh, and we need to get this so that we can get that um, chest plate and complete that mission. Uh, just a second. That's three. I can't remember how many it wanted. But we're having loads. That's that's my solution. If you don't remember how many you wanted, just grab everything. Uh, and then you'll have everything. And if you have everything, then you are bound to have what you need. Uh, okay, let's go over here. So this isn't the most convenient of staircases, but it does work perfectly well for what we're doing. And it just allows us to get up this, this little bit. And then we're on. And then we're in our base. Wonderful. Now we can use this, and now I haven't got enough of that. Well, I do know I have loads of that, so we'll, we'll be fine. Let's grab that from here. We also need to get some water because uh, we're, we're running out of that. So that, and let's get this and eat loads of that. That will give us um, water and um, the, uh, the other stuff. In fact, it seems to be giving us more than it used to. That might just be me, though. I might just be thinking that rather than it being the truth. <laughs> All right, let's get making some of the um, twiny stuff. Yeah, the rope. There we go. Let's make some of that. Let's make loads of that. And then let's see if we can finally make that acorn armor. We can make the acorn armor. Brilliant. I wish I could make the red ant armor. I really need that stuff. That stuff will be great. Uh, we could use this. I mean, why not? If we can make it, well, we might as well make it because it's, it saves me time. I'm currently wearing the aphid slippers because uh, I did make some aphid slippers, so we have some aphid slippers. I could make more of these. Hmm. The grub leggings, yes. I'm just making everything now because we can. Anything I can make, I should probably do it. Uh, okay, we can't make that. We could make the eye patch if we really wanted the eye patch. I've never used the eye patch. I don't know whether it's a, a, a great use or not. If we go into the inventory and have a look at the um, what we've got, though, right, we could put that on. I'm not going to put that on because it's it's definitely not good for us. Uh, mainly because it attracts insects. Yeah, acorn bits that insects find delicious. Great. Not a good idea. I do not want to be surrounded by insects. So let's have the headpiece on. What's the accessory? Huh. I don't know what these are. We have got our um, our weevil shield. So we could wear our weevil shield. I've never used the shield. I've never used... It just hasn't been something that I've done. So that's that's that. Uh, we have the leg, the leg pieces for our... Uh, 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 acorn stuff. Let's put all of these away for now because uh, I want to get over to the next zone or the next area that we, we need to get to which is uh, over in the distance which is to say we need to go over there. We need to go over to the hedge. That is what our main quest was uh, so we need to do it uh, otherwise we will not do it and that is not as good as doing it. Uh, Blooming spider. Okay, so we've got this base is coming along nicely, and I will I will do more of that uh, in time. But at the moment, over to the uh, the hedge and uh, and finding out what we can find out about the hedge. Uh, I know that there's a lot of spiders over at the hedge, and we're going to have to find a nice safe zone to uh, to put up a base. Might as well drink that whilst we're here. In fact, whilst we're here, we might as well grab this. 
This is one of the things that I have a tendency to do. Just do everything on the way. Because uh, if you don't, then you get there and you find that you're out of everything. Alright, let's go down here. Eep. Hello. Oh, I did actually find out in the end that the... Um, that the... What are they? The... Yeah, weeds. The weeds. Yes. The dandelions. The dandelions. Uh, they are indeed in need of being chopped down to the ground. If you don't chop them down to the ground, then they don't return. Uh, and you want them to return, so uh, you, you really do have to do that. I've lost all of my um, markers. So I've been marking out where the dandelions are, uh, because... At this stage in the game, it's really helpful to know exactly where the dandelions are. So I've been putting a marker next to them. I've actually been putting lights next to a, a lot of them because that way I can see them at night as well. Uh, but uh, at the moment, this one particularly uh, it is not is not lit up. Anyway, having markers around is ex excessively helpful. And I would actively say just stick markers everywhere uh, because they're, they're so unbelievably helpful in, uh, in, in getting you around the place that it is well worth getting the markers up. I don't know how to get rid of the markers in um, whilst you're using the controller, but it's Y on the keyboard for, uh, for eliminating markers. Uh, so I will I can turn on my markers or turn off my markers however I feel. Now we're supposed to be going over this way, aren't we? I think. Hello there, Weevil. I've got a Weevil shield. Can you believe it? I don't know how to use the Weevil shield. That is the point. Ah, there we go. We just, just, just the alternative to the hit button. That makes sense. All right, let's go over here and see if we can... Oh, look, there's loads of weeds here. This is good. There's loads of... Uh, there's loads of... Um, dandelions over there as well what's why have we got a great big log over here okay massive log ah this is near where we set up our base last time last time i set my base up over there because the haze is like that way uh, and it's quite useful to have a base that's in between two areas but we're going to the uh, we're going to the thing it's, it's... i want to label these oh i want to label these yes uh, wait a minute, uh, let's do that because we're here. Why not? Although we could get attacked by mites as we as we stand. No, we're all right. Okay, so let's just put that down. Excellent. Uh, fill it up and label it. So that is another set of those. Labeled. Excellent. Now I'll know where they are, hopefully. <laughs> when I actually bother to turn my uh, my labels on. I don't care where the ants off to. I know I want to go where I want to go, which is over here somewhere, away from all those mites, horrible mites. So oh, hello, enjoying the uh, the cookie. Yeah, I do like cookies, <laughs> cookies. Uh, but no, let's go over this way. I think. I'm pretty sure it's over there somewhere. That's where we're headed. Just have to avoid anything that sounds like extreme danger. Like, for instance, that sounds like extreme danger. Oh, yes. Yes, that sounds like extreme danger. There's wolf spiders everywhere, and they really don't like me. So I do have to be ex extra careful. What's down here? Ah, I never knew there was anything under the, the massive head. Why isn't it labelled this on my map yet? Usually when you find something, it labels it. Ah, there we go. Yes. One of those. Oh heck! Look what we found here. Uh, okay, um, I want to put a label down, so I'm going to put a label down. Let's, let's put one down. Construct here. Thank you. Have we got the things for it? Most of the things for it, apart from we're missing the stuff that's right here. Brilliant. Let's have that. So definitely label your um, your. Um, dandelions. Why do I always forget that? Anyhow, yes, label your dandelions and, in fact, label everything basically, because it just makes everything so much easier. Hello spiderling, you're going to give me what I want, which is to say some um, webbing. Ah, heck! What was that? Oh, it's one of those. I don't want to fight you. You're too strong for me. Get off. <laughs> yes, run away! Ooh, I do want um, this though, uh, because this over here, I haven't had any yet, and as such, I should grab it, the 
clay so that we can actually do clay things. Uh, and I need to... Uh, you get quite a lot of clay for one piece of clay. That's good. Brilliant. Okay. We're well on our way. We're in the swampy-ish area from the uh, from the the um, garden sprinklers. That's very good. The one thing I don't like about this area is the mosquitoes. Now I don't know how many mosquitoes there are now uh, in comparison to when I was last here. But when I was last here, there was blooming mosquitoes everywhere, and I really don't like the mosquitoes. Hello, little bugs. And little bugs everywhere as well. Okay, let's get over here. Hi, you. I should probably get you because, you know, I should probably... Oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's going to fall on other things. That's no good. I can't get him. Can't get him. Uh, what we could do is we could eat from our inventory. Because I do have one of those which will go off if I don't eat it. So let's eat it quick. And we'll deal with the... Problem of not having food. Like, ah, there's another one just running in front of me. Hi, you. Yep. You're going to die because I'm going to roast you. Uh, right, I could do with some stones as well. We're nearly there. Really nearly there. And when we get there, we'll be there, which will be great. Okay. Uh, oh, there's another one. Yeah, little aphid. You're going to be roast soon. Ah, stone. Brilliant. I'll need a few of those for the stuff. Okay, let's turn the things off. Oh, I thought they were off. There, now they're off. Okay, don't know what it was doing. It seems to turn it on again for a second, but yeah, it's, it's off. Right, this way. We're heading closer to the hedge already. You can see it. Uh, it's it's way over there. Right, you. Nah, uh, that was a sort of half half effort. <laughs> Because I don't really want it, but uh, it would have been nice if I didn't, if I could have just grabbed it on the way. But uh, no, I'm not all that bothered. So I put my um, my previous um, place over here. Uh, it was sort of there-ish. Now there's a lot of berries in here that you really need. Uh, so that's that's the most useful thing around here. I don't know where the best place to put a base is around here, but there's there's got to be a reasonable place to put a base around here. And I'm quite excited to go up there and explore that area because that area is... Uh oh I hear you. <laughs> there's a mosquito there. Uh -uh. I don't want to go anywhere near the mosquito because they are super dangerous at this stage. When I get the right weapon... They'll be toast, I tell you. But at the moment, they're quite dangerous. I'm surprised that they're not over here. I thought that they liked to be around this thing. But then they do like to roam about a bit. So it's possible that my experience of them is uh, is now different. Uh, the base on there would be quite useful. This is where I ended up sticking one of my bases. Uh, I, I had stuck a main base over there. But that was a mistake because it was rubbish. Uh, but this base over here was quite good. The only problem that it had was the mosquitoes because this area, wow, it attracts mosquitoes. Uh, now, what we're after is up there somewhere. And it's the um, entrance to the to the maze, the, the hedge lab, uh, which is over here somewhere. At least it was. I'm hoping it's still in the same place. By crikey, it's dark. Ah, there we go. We have the uh, the thing over there, which means that the entrance to the lab must be here. Is it in the same place? Or has it been altered? No, it's in the same place. Great. Okay. We can get the, uh, the hedge ascent here. This is what you want. You want to be here. This is a wonderful place to be. Because uh, of all of the, uh, the, the, the lab access... So the hedge lab is up from the ascent, and obviously everything to do with the hedge lab we can get to via here uh, and on the map. I like the map. The map's been changed. It's been made sort of um, pixelated, and I really like that. It's got a, it's got a, a, a sort of oldie oldie game type feel to it, uh, which is excellent. I don't know if you can make the map as it used to be. I, I just like it like this. It's really good. It's very, very simplistic. 
Uh, you can see everything that you want there. Looks like there's an extension to the pond. This area here, I believe, was not an existent before, so that might that is new zone for me to explore. Uh, we can get to it over there. So really, I, once I get up to there, we can get over that way and explore that new zone. We are here, uh, which is uh, to say in the hedge thing. But I could do with a light. That's that's for certain. I wonder if I've got the uh, the relevant stuff for that. I don't think I have. I haven't got any... Oh, I've got two dry grass. I don't know if that's enough. I really don't know if that's enough. Let's have a look in the uh, the stuff and see if we can make make a torch. Uh, no, I need three dry grass and a uh, a crude rope thing. So no, we we haven't got we haven't got everything that we need. But we can just about do this because obviously the field station is lit up anyway. Uh, so let's go to the. No, that's not it. Uh, let's go to this. And let us scan various things. One thing that I need to scan is this. So we'll scan the uh, the um, clay. See what wonderful things we can get from that. So we can get a armor dummy, which is perfect because that keeps the armor out of my uh, my chests. Uh, weapons wall mount, wonderful. And the repair tool. I do want the repair tool. That is something that I want to set up immediately when I can. I need to start attacking ants, basically. Uh, let's get this. Analyzed, and we have a berry chair and a bouncy web. I didn't really take advantage of the bouncy web as much as I should have in uh, in my previous run, uh, but you know you can't do everything. Uh, let's have the spoiled meat because I'm getting a lot of spoiled meat as I go around, and I'm just sticking it in my inventory. Spoiled meat slurry. How fascinating! What do you use the spoiled meat slurry for? It doesn't seem like a good thing, does it? Okay, fine. We've, we're sorted with that. Let's get out of this uh, this dangerous area uh, and head on. Although this doesn't seem all that dangerous at the moment, does it? I don't know if we 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 need more danger out of that. Can we actually chop the berries? Ah, interesting. I thought you needed the second level of axe for that. I didn't realise it was a first level compatible one. Oh, now I need to analyse that. But we also need to set up a temporary base uh, so that we can uh, we can survive easily. It is now lovely and light again. And uh, I do dislike the fact that it's really dark in the uh, the hedge. I understand it, uh, but it's like it's like scary. Hello, talking about scary. Let's get away from that mosquito. There is a wolf spider around here somewhere. I know there is because I've seen it. It's very dangerous. Uh, so we need to find a place around here but yet not around here. I'm kind of tempted to put my base where I put it last time. Uh, it's not really the most convenient of base areas but it's uh, it's not it's not terrible. Could be better potentially. Let's go over that way and see if we can find a good spot for a uh, for a base. I'm, I'm trying to think of one, but th the fact is that I do know that the um, with the with the game having been set up differently now to how it was when I when I last played it, there could be a bunch of mosquitoes in places where I was I felt that it was perfectly safe before, or there could be spiders where I felt that it was perfectly safe before. So, we have a little bit of a problem with these sorts of things. Uh, but there is a, 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 a nice area here that could be useful. Oh, mosquito. I see you, mosquito. Okay, now those mosquitoes are so terrible. But over here might be useful. Generally, next to this wall has been quite um, quiet uh, in my previous experience. There was a spider that liked to patrol around this sort of area. But around here might be a nice area to have a base, I think. So, oh, there's a mosquito over there, I see you. Maybe not quite there. Maybe a little bit further around. Maybe closer to the uh, to the entrance to this, uh, to this um, bit of the base over here. Can we actually get through this yet? No, we need to get through this via the, uh, the upper area. Okay, fine. Now there is a log over there which might be good for a raised base. But being next to this door is probably a decent enough zone. 
so let's have a um, not a trail marker although I could mark the area over here so that I know that it's here uh, I just want a one of those because basically eating is important let's have that there I need more dry grass is there any dry grass around I don't oh there's some dry grass over there right next to the mosquito wonderful uh, that's perfect. Yeah, ah, oh, great. That is right next to the mosquito. It's, it's right there. That's not a mosquito. What is that? Peeper. Let's see what's around here. Yeah, let's see what's around here. What are marking you? A location. I'm, I'm not marking a location. I'm trying to find the thing. Ah! Select the thing, would you? Where's it gone? Oh, it's there. It's there. It's there. And it's flying now. That's no good. Stop flying. I see you. Got you. You're a firefly. Okay, fine. You're not as bad as I thought. So, I'll get this dry grass. Give me the dry grass! Wonderful! Yes, yes, yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I think I could do with scanning dry grass as well. I don't think I've scanned any yet. Yeah, it's getting so dark. I should probably build a, a lean-to as well. Uh, so that we can get the morning in. So, I'll grab this and this. And it's now way too dark already. <laughs> Almost immediate darkness. Okay, so let's go over here uh, and finish setting up our uh, our little um, fireplace, uh, and then we can get those. Uh, we can get those. What are they? These. We can get those cooking. Brilliant. Uh, and we can set up a a, a lean to in this area, and then we have ourselves. A temporary base. Wonderful. The lean is facing the wrong way. Okay, let's do the set thing. Uh, and then... Around 2200 hours is around when I, uh, when I go to sleep. So we're a little bit early at the moment. But we have set up a lovely base in view of the uh, of the bird bath uh, not too far away from the um, the ascent to the hedge maze and there's this berry here which will regenerate and give us easy access to berries uh, we've got a, a bit of, uh, of, of of stuff here this is all a nice a nice zone and i don't think i don't think the spider patrols this particular area it, i could be wrong uh, but i don't think he does and as such, we might be safe. So I might set up a base here and see you in the next episode. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye for now.